Welcome back everyone to the Laddie Dog channel. Today we're going to be talking about something a little bit different and that is Fortnite's new game mode, Battle Royale. It is the H1Z1 King of the Hill PUBG spin-off and a little of their own taste in it as well. In this game mode, you're going to be starting with 100 players PvP style and you have the preloading area that you'd have in the other games as well that you can mess around, shoot people and wait for the timer to tick down. Now when you start, you're starting in a floating bus instead of an airplane and when you fall out of the plane, you're going to be skydiving and then use your glider instead of a parachute. This game mode offers a lot of differences from the other game modes because it still allows you to use your building techniques just like the normal game. You can build a whole castle if you wanted, but the resource grind since you start at zero and the time you have from the storm moving you to a certain location is not going to help you very much. So you probably want to keep it to very limited basic buildings that can help you, you know, over an opponent coming at you. But overall, you still can use all those qualities. Now, traps in the game, as you can see in the video, can only be found in the world. You can't, you can't craft them or anything. You have to find them in treasure chests, off people you kill, etc. Same with the weapons. You can't craft any weapons. You have to find them in the world, in chest and people. Now they're they're very abundant. You'll find them very easily. Normally, pretty much in every building. So you're not really gonna have to worry about that. Another thing is, in this pu PUBG style game right now, there are no parties, so you can't team up with any of your friends right now. But on September 26th, they should allow that when the full release comes. They even mention it in the notes when you open up the game. Another thing is there is no armor, so there are no advantages for doing more searching over another player if you already have your guns and your ammo that you need. They also have no attachments, no stamina block like the normal game, which is really nice, and you have no abilities to character base. You're just a random character dropped in the world. So the loot difference in the game is there are different quality style of weapons. The quality of weapons depend on what you find. There's the common, the uncommon, the rare, and then the purple ones as well, which I believe are epics. I'm not sure the damage base difference, but I did notice whenever I did get a couple of the different weapons that it, they seemed to handle weapon and had a better grouping overall. As you can see, I got like a Scar H style weapon in this video, and it shot in very tight groupings and looked like it was very proficient compared to an uncommon that had a lot of spread overall. Resource gathering in this game, if you're going to break down anything, uh, it's going to give you resources. Unlike whenever you break down one of your walls or something very minuscule, you still get quite a bit more resources than this. So it's not as much to grind if you need a little bit of resources to get you going. If you want to build like a little wall, you know, a little window or something to shoot out on a tower, it's very easy to make. Now treasures are awesome in this game mode. You're going to want to find them whenever you jump into a town. Uh, they normally have bandages, better weapons, and ammo overall. Treasure chests are a lot louder than what they are normally in the game, and you can definitely hear them through walls. So if you hear it, make sure you take the little bit of extra time to break down the wall, ceiling, whatever, to find that treasure chest. One thing about this game that people are probably not going to like that much right now is it doesn't give any XP. If you win, you lose, no matter what, you're going to get no XP. So if you're trying to XP grind, trying to get your character power level up, this will affect you in no way. You don't get any storm tickets, you don't get anything. It's just for the pleasure of you beat everyone else. Lastly, I just want to say the amount of time it took to get into the lobby was really none. They said to expect lobby crashes and periodic bugs and all that, but I haven't encountered any yet. I've played three games, made it to pretty far in the games. I haven't had too much lag or stability issues. Now, that's just personally me. Other people are going to have more issues, I'm sure. But they said it's going to happen, so don't get too frustrated with them. That's the point of this early release game. So we can test the bugs for them and they get feedback, and when they actually release the full game, it's going to be better overall. But that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I know this is a totally different game that came out of nowhere. It's a lot of fun to play, and I would definitely check it out. If you enjoyed the video, a like's always appreciated, and if you want to see more Fortnite material, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, guys, my name is Laddie Dog, and I'll see you later.